today I'm going to take a look at some beers I just picked up. So I was going to do this live, but then I was like, ah, I'll go ahead and just do a quick upload on it. But today I decided to go around town to check out a new store, a new beer store that I happened to find on Untapped because I was tracking down a couple beers and wanted to see what they had, and I was glad that I did. So I took off to go check out the beers. Here right here is the box of the things I actually got today. And... It's double too hearted, I know, but there is no double too hearted in the box. I will tell you that right now. That was one of the beers I was seeking, but then when I got there, they only had like one bottle left, and I was like, I've already done a review on that one before, so I was like, yeah, I was gonna get it just to enjoy. Then I was like, yeah, you know what? Let me see what else you got here, because there were a couple other beers I was looking for, which I'll share those with you here in a second as well. But went there over in cincinnati to grab a few beers and one of the ones i was looking for that they still had was the dragon's milk solera so this is one that just came out i think the last month or two 10 percent abv this was a four pack 18.99 and it is a federage ale here is a look at the bottle or one of the bottles so to speak there so nice 10% ABV with that nice Dragon's Milk logo. And um, anything that's Dragon's Milk, I pretty much like to get to enjoy. I've enjoyed just about all the different varieties they come out with. Well, the ones I've had, I've definitely enjoyed for the most part. Uh, there's only been a couple I think that I've missed, but this one says aged in a series of American oak fighters using a blended technique known as Solera. Nuanced flavors of caramel, toffee, and fig create an experience made to be savored. This legendary ale will continue to evolve with each pull from its fetters becoming more complex over time. So you can actually have this one, hold it out for a period over time, and the flavors will still build nicely for it. So that's the one thing I was kind of looking for in the beers I was seeking because I have so many beers here. I need something I can actually put in the cellar, not be in a rush to have to drink. So, saying that, there wasn't anything I got pretty much on the India Pale Ale scale. But the other thing that drove me to check out this store is one that actually had one of the Black, and Be Black is Beautiful series. And I'll get that a little closer so you can check that out that I was looking to actually pick up. And this one here was actually from Streetside. So, Streetside Brewery. A nice brewery here in Cincinnati. You can see the logo right there down on the bottom. They do some great beers and they had done a version of this. I was unable to get this at the brewery. Uh, the one place I went to, Jungle Gems, they were sold out of it. So I was happy to find that they actually had a version there so I could check out how they put their spin on it. This one is an Imperial Stout with macadamia and coconut coffee. 10% ABV and what you'll find from the Black is Beautiful series not all the beers are the same so that's why I'm getting different varieties of them so I can taste all the different nuances this one itself uh, $18.99 for that four pack so no Rod J deals really today but really some nice other beers that I'm willing to check out but these two really drove me in going out to take a look to see what I could find at the store here and then when I got there Notice they had some other great things and they kind of set themselves apart because they were putting stuff in the store that so many other places didn't have outside of maybe me making a trek to Jungle Gym. So I appreciated that. Um, and even at Jungle Gyms, there's some beers that they had here that I did not see. So one of those being here was another one that's a four pack of the pint cans, the peanut butter pony, as you can see here. Never seen this one before. Uh, this one was actually done by Illuminated Brew Works. I told you guys before on a previous video, I do like the peanut butter beer, so it was a matter of me just going ahead and saying, yes, I'm going to have to get that because the peanut butter, I am interested to see how they do with this one here. This comes in at 13% ABV. Again, a beer that I can actually uh, sit and chill for a bit. Uh, the peanut butter pony, stout brewed with cocoa and artificial peanut butter flavor added. So... I'll be questioning to see how much of an artificial taste you get out of it, but hopefully it does deliver nicely on this one. Um, so yeah, pretty cool looking can that caught my eye. And then once I saw the peanut butter pony, it was like, go ahead and get it. That one was $19.99 a four pack, usually a little bit more than what I usually get on some of the four pack stuff I get, but 
you know, in the world of craft, you got to get something when you like it and get it at that point. So, got those ones there. And another one I came across, they had these in the two packs. And this is actually from Half Acre Beer. It is Oren. And we'll get that up here so you can check this out as well. Oren. Got that pyramid kind of look on the can there. And this is a Bourbon Barrel A Strong Ale. So, wanted to grab this to see what this would actually uh, taste like. 13.9% ABV. Again, another one I don't have to race right into. So, looking forward to seeing that. Uh, makes mention on here to keep your cold. So, we get that in the cooler as well. But, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing how this one actually comes out as well. Knew about Half Acre, but had not found any of their beers until just now because with the way distribution is it is hard to get some of the beers from some of the different breweries and i found a place that now sells their beers which is awesome so those are the ones i got there and then well i should say this was the last one i got from the same place as well and this is actually from against the grain it is the stave it for later limited barrel series pretty willies imperial stout Russian Imperial Stout aged of bourbon barrels comes in at 13% ABV. And this is actually one of the bigger bottles, as you can see as well. So that'll be something I'll enjoy. Now, against the grain, because I'm in Kentucky, I usually see their stuff like a party source and a couple other places around here. But I had not seen this one before. And at $9.99, I thought that was a pretty good deal to get this one here, which I believe is a 22-ounce bottle. Looking on here, um, does not have the size measure but that's definitely bit yeah it's got to be 22 it's definitely bigger than some of the other stuff so looking forward to enjoying those and then away from the store i actually went to kroger earlier to get some groceries and happened to stumble across something they actually had which is because it is oktoberfest season look at this son of a gun so this is actually a limited edition as I put some of the other things back in the box for me to put into the cellar here in a little bit. This is limited edition original Munich Oktoberfest mug and beer set with polliner. So check that out there. The polliner, you got the mug inside, you got a big can of beer in there as well to chill and put into the mug. Germany's number one Oktoberfest beer. $9.99 so I couldn't really pass that up to get the mug alone and getting the beer made it worth the deal for sure so they had those at Kroger and I uh, decided to go ahead and grab that one so be drinking a big Oktoberfest out of this for one of the videos and I don't think I've done a Polliner Oktoberfest beer review in the channel so that's one I'll save to do here as well uh, maybe that one a little bit more sooner than later but that's what I picked up today so many different things to share with you guys Hopefully you guys will come back and check out those videos and let me know what you think about those beers. If you've had any of these beers I picked up already, let me know what you think of them. Leave a comment in the comment section. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Remember to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Comment. And of course now I have the applause feature, which actually helps to uh, get other stuff into the channel as well. So if you feel you want to applaud, you can do that as well. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.